Welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. Na saizi tukona an interesting end, of course, a creative guest and I to a James Waswa. Karibu kwenye studio. Asante sana. Uh, by definition unitwa? Poet. Poet. Yes. Msani. Mm -hmm. Kuandika mashairi ya Kiingereza, alafu mwenyewe ninaipeperusha. Mm. Eh, kuipeperusha. Kuipeperusha, nikifurahisha wale wanaosikia kwa sherehe, kwa harusi kwa na sehemu mbalimbali. Hata mahali popote nikifika wanasema was for the poet. Mm. Tuchangamushe dakika moja ninawarushia. Ni opportunity ya ku uh, present kwa presidents. Kwanza mm. nitajaribu kusema historia ya maisha yangu unajua mpaka wa Kenya wajue mm. nilisaliwa katika hey, kabla tishika. kabla tuende kwa historia eh. uh, nataka hii bila tuifanye kama interview eh. nataka ikwe a showcase eh. because i feel talent yako ya kuongelesha watu through poetry ni kitu watu wanahitaji kuisikia eh. so kama uko na poem fulani yenye tunazaanza nayo kabla tuendelee na interview eh niko nayo eh. kamera namba moja ndio eh. yako asante sana Ninaweza anza. Tafadhali. Eh. Noble son of our founding father, your tenure is a golden age, spiced and sliced with development, last with empowerment and employment. This is how you are an encouragement. The standard gauge railway, Free maternal health care, strategic huduma centers, free primary education. Nairobi cosmopolitan city, one of the best cities in the world globally. Nairobi Southern Pipers, you are big for agenda that should make Kenya grow and grow. Is the real deal? Food security and manufacturing, affordable housing and universal health. In your stint, Kenya shall not stink. You can think very fast. Isaiah says, we shall arise and shine. We shall shine and dine in the table of civilization. We are soaring high in the sky like an eagle. You are a bright star in the sky. You can see light beyond twilight. Your excellency, your efforts and hard work has made an entire nation of Kenya to dance in all spheres of life you have attained a perfect balance. So, to challenge Kenyans, the continent of Africa, and the whole world to lose confidence in you, chances are lean, thin, narrow, and tight. You are a bright star in the sky. You can see light beyond twilight. Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta is a bright star in the sky. He can see light beyond twilight. Thank you. Asante sana kwa your poem. Uh, uh, Nasikiko inspired by our president. Yes. Now, process yako ya kuandika your poems tutaongelea lakini ulikuwa unaenda kuanza uh, your history. Uh, uh, kama James Waswa. Historia yangu nilizaliwa katika kijiji cha Shihaka katika kaunti moja ya Kakamega. Mm. Na nikajiunga na shule ya msingi ya Shitoi Primary School ambapo nilimaliza nilifanya mstiani wangu wa KCP nikaenda nikajiunga na shule ya upili ya Lunza wakati mm. huo tulikuwa tunachanganyana na wasichana mixed uh, day boarding day school mm. basi baada ya hapo nikamaliza kusoma si kufanikiwa kwenda katika chuo cha walimu nilikuwa niende Eregi teachers college lakini katika hali ile ya ufukara si kufanikiwa mm. nikarudi nyumbani Aa, nikaanza maisha tu ya kufanya vibarua maisha ikawa ngumu sana vile mnajua hadi maisha ya kijiji mm. niliendelea kupambana hivyo mwaka na moja nikaoa nikaendelea kuishi maisha yakawa magumu nikaona watoto wanaendelea kukua sasa itakuwaje na wanatakakana wasome mm. nikachukua panga nikaanza kukata miwa katika kambuni ya Mumias pale niliwahi kukata hiyo miwa maisha ikawa magumu watu wanasema kwa nini ulisoma na hujapata kasi nikasema ya Mungu haijulikani hmm. nikafanya mtoto wangu akaendelea kukua nikaona inanidelemea nikahamia Nairobi nikakuja nikapata kasi katika kambuni ya Pada Security kama security guard hmm. pale ambapo nilifanya tena nikaona maisha pia si mazuri nikaita bibi yangu tukaishi naye huku Nairobi Hmm. basi siku moja nilikuwa natoka Dakoreti nikapitia pale nikaenda Kikuyu nikaona kumbe hii ndio shule nasikia Alliance siku moja nikaenda pale nikaanza kuuliza hapo kasi 
nikapata hapo mwalimu mkuu aliyekuwa wakati huo David Karioki akanihurumia akanipatia kazi ya upishi nikaanza hiyo kazi nikapata support kubwa kutoka kwa mwalimu Peter Kinyanjui ambaye ni senior teacher kwa wakati huu mm. na mwalimu Richard Kineya ambaye pia hata walinipewa hifadhi mwalimu Mwange kuna huko wa mama wazuri wa dimu kama wakina Mrs. Mulindi mwalimu wa dance ni mwalimu wazuri sana mm. siku moja wakaita staff prayers Hmm. nikaenda katika hiyo staff prayers wakauliza nani ataisoma biblia sasa hiyo ibada ilikuwa inaongozwa na wafanyikazi na walimu sio sasa yule chaplain nikasimama nikajitokeza baada ya kusoma biblia wanafunzi wote walisimama wakashinishangilia hmm. ilikuwa biblia ya kiingereza kasema huyu ni mpisha ama ni nini tunaona nini mimi ni siku kufa roho siku nyingine wakaita mkutano kama huo mimi pia nikajitokeza nikaanza kuwapea mawaidha nikawaambia vile nafaa wasome kwa bidii kwa sababu wanaweza kupata changamoto mingi i en, encouraged them mm. that the main function of the teachers is to mold them into good citizens so that at the end of the session they will portray a good image na unafanyaga hivyo eh. pia pamoja na hiyo poetry hapana poetry zilikuwa haijakuja bado ilikuwa imefika ya ilikuwa imefika mm. sasa kikao chenye kilifuatia pia nikaenda sasa nikaenda na poem nikasema wacha nijaribu sasa kusoma poem mm. nikaanza tu hivi hivi si kwa najua mimi ni poet Mungu ameficha ndani kitu changu mm. nikaandika tu kitu nikasema if you are not in the flow of the word of god you will not be in the flow mm. if you are not informed you will not you will be deformed mm. if you are not inspired you will expire mm. and if you are not updated you will be an outdated material <laughs> watu wakacheka wakasema ah we una kitu ndani yako mm. iki kipao sikifunike sasa mimi nikaendelea hapo kulikuwa sasa sherehe ikafuatia mm. Ezekiel limetua Kenya Film Classification Board akakuja mm. na wanafunzi karibu elfu kumi wakiambua wote sasa nikatengeneza shairi sasa nikawa kwa K24 mm. kabla kabla shari... tuendelee na hapo eh. uh, ulikuwa umesema ulikuwa unataka kuenda kusomea kukuwa mwalimu nilikuwa nataka kusomea mwalimu lakini si kufanikiwa kwa sababu ya karo mm. eh. unaona kwa nini ulikuwa unaelekea hapo kwa nini ulikuwa na hiyo hamu ya kufunza kwa sababu nilikuwa nilikuwa na hizo changamoto nikitoka shule wenzangu mm. wanaenda shule na mimi siendi unajua nilikuwa na hiyo momentum mm. ningali kijana ninatoka shule na sina kazi nataka kuendelea na masomo yangu lakini sina karo mm. eh acha nikuulize basi education inamaanisha nini kwako mtu Edu- akiongea juu ya education education ni kitu cha maana sana kwa sababu it sharpens your skills mm. inafungua roho na inapea changamoto hata kuwaelimisha watu hii inji inaongozwa na na nini na mafunzo mm. kwa mfano kama rais wetu katika ule ujasiri wa kuongoza taifa hili rais huru kinyata ameonyesha amwelekeo mzuri hmm. ndio unaona hata viongozi wengi wenye wanamfuata na wenye waliokuwa pia usipokuwa kiongo na elimu huweza ongoza hmm. na huwezi tambuliwa katika jamii hmm. eh ndio uka gravitate towards alliance high school sasa nikakuja hadayans mm. ndio sasa nifanyie hiyo sasa nikaanza kuingia sasa sasa hiyo ndoto yangu ikaanza kufufuka mm. sasa nikapea wanafunzi shairi la advice to students sasa hii poem zikaanza hapo mm. hiyo poem ilikuwa advice to students in terms of advice unajua kama msanii especially kama poet unajua kuna vile unaangalia vitu differently eh. si kama mtu wa kawaida eh. uh, tunaelekea elections eh. uh, ni mawaidha gani unaweza patia watu sasa leo sasa hiyo wanakuangalia kwa sababu ukiangalia uh, tulikuwa na conversation asubuhi mm-hmm. kuna watu wana vote side moja ama side nyingine mm-hmm. lakini wanasema bado wengi wako undecided sasa so, uh, undecided unaona tunaweza elezea nini mawaidha gani unaweza kuwa nayo mawaidha yenyewe yanaweza kuwa nayo ni kwamba watoe uamuzi kwa sababu kuku, kupiga kura mm. ni haki yako usipopiga kura utakuwa umepoteza nafasi ya labda kuchagua kiongozi ambaye afanye nini angefa au anafa hiyo kura ulichukua itumie wakati huo ndio uchague yule kiongozi ambaye unafa hmm. kwa sababu na mawaidha mengine yanaweza kuambia kuhusu wapigaji kura twende tuchague viongozi hawa viongozi watakuja na wataenda lakini taifa letu la Kenya litabaki hmm. yule mtu ambaye yako karibu yako ni ndugu yako ni ndugu yako wa karibu yeye ndiye atakusaidia hawa viongozi watakuja wataenda lakini taifa la Kenya tulipopigania uhuru na tukatoa kwa 
wa koloni litabaki Kenya. Mm. Hayo ndiyo mawaidha naweza kupea wapigaji kura na wanasiasa pia wakienda kwa campaign wadumishe amani mm. wasilete siasa ya kutukanana kwa sababu kutukanana kunaonyesha picha mbaya mm. katika wapigaji kura tena inaonyesha kwamba huyu kiongozi atakuwa mzuri wafanya campaign kwa amani mm. tuchaguane kwa amani ili taifa ni muhimu kuliko mtu binafsi taifa ni muhimu kuliko mtu binafsi Ndiyo. that's a good message It's a strong message eh. uh, ali tuliko tunaongea vile uliweza kuperform mbele dr Ezekiel niliweza kuperform uh, kabla tuendelee na hapo ulikuwa na ulikuwa na hisi yaje kupata ni, opportunity ya kuperform mbele yake nilikuwa sasa nimefurahi sana kipawa mm. changu kimekuwa na nilikuwa pia na moto ile mioto vile unaona wachezaji hata hata ile ligi ya Uingereza <laughs> naona wale wachezaji wanawaka moto mm. wakina Sterling mm -hmm. wakina Bokuba mm -hmm. wakina Lukaku <laughs> sasa nilikuwa na hiyo moto sasa wale walimu mm. sasa ku advice vijana mm -hmm. eh nilikuwa mm -hmm. advice to students shairi lenye niliwafanyia Mhm. Mm eh, nikawafurahisha. Ikawafurahisha sana hata maoni kutoka kwa baadhi ya watazamaji walikuwa wanasema yule mpishi mm. ametubamba kabisa. Hiyo ndiyo maoni ya baadhi ya watazamaji walikuwa mm. wanaitoa. Na hata nikuulize kwa sababu tumeongea vile uliweza kufanikiwa kupata kazi uh, ya upishi ya lens. Eh. Uniform yenye umeva. Ndiyo hii uniform yenye huwa napika nayo katika jikoni mm. ya Alliance. Mtu mtu anaweza kuuliza eh. kwa nini umeamua ikuwe pia uniform ya usanii? Ndiyo uniform ndiyo iwe ni, tena itakuwa challenge kwamba uh, mtu asidharauliwe huyu ni mpishi mm. watu wa chini na wote maana manini mwanadamu ni mwanadamu naweza kuwa mpishi na nina kitu kingine kikubwa chenye naweza kufanya mbele ya watu. Unaona mimi ni mpishi na gambuts lakini pia natambuliwa na ikulu ya Nairobi mm. ndio ni kitu cha muhimu sana kuvaa uniform mm. na kujitambulisha kuwa kazi yoyote ni kazi kwa hivyo uniform ni message ni message pia usijidharau yani usijidharau mm. na ni mimi ninajivunia kuwa mpishi siwezi kudharau yeyote na mtu pia siwezi kunidharau mm. kwa sababu pia nina kitu kingine chenye pia naweza fanya mm. eh uh, ni kitu kingine naweza taka tuongelee kwa sababu vijana wa siku hizi tumeambua kuna pride mingi sana. Mm -hmm. Tunachagua kazi yani. Ah kuchagua kazi yeah. si hata ati ni laziness, ni pride. Hapana unaweza tuelezea mawaidha gani unaweza tupatia kama vijana? Au vijana kwanza kanisa linafadhi jukuu jukumu. Kwa sababu wakati unachagua kazi, hiyo mm. kazi yenye unachagua ukiikoza utakuwa jambazi, mm. utakuwa mwizi, mm. utaanza kungoja watu kwa njia ukiwanyang'anya vitu kwa sababu umetarajia kazi na hiyo kazi haiko badala ya kufanya ile kazi ambayo iko tayari ikufanyie mahitaji yako mm. yenye unaweza kuitumia kwa hivyo kuchagua kazi kwa vijana ni kitu kibaya inafaa uchague kufanya kazi yenye iko tayari ndio ikufikishe pale mahali ambapo unatakana Li, use the little that you have mm. to get the bigger thing you are expecting, you are expecting. Eh, there is a distance at agulo kwa hiyo same note yes bado unataka kuwa mwalimu kwa sasa uh, kipawa sasa kimeingia mm. na naona pia miaka inaenda kwa sababu sasa hii niko na miaka 44 mm -hmm. sasa hii kipawa changu nataka kishike moto mm. hata nataka uh, vile nimetambuliwa na ikulu ya Nairobi nataka hata kuwa uh, kuanza ku advertise mm -hmm. hata sasa hii naona kampuni zinaniona kampuni mm -hmm. yote inataka advertisement msanii mm -hmm. uko hapa mm -hmm. utaona vile watu watanunua vitu vyako nita mm -hmm. advertise mm -hmm kambuni zozote kimbo nini kujeni <laughs> tusiwataje kwa sasa eh, yes, lakini yes. wakutambue aje kama James Waswa the, the point, chef ama the, the, the chef point the chef point a gifted cook mm. and a poet mm. eh. <laughs> eh. nice eh. Uh, in terms of sasa zile poet, uh, poems zenye unaandika eh. nilikuwa nataka tuongelee process yako ya kuzitunga process ya kuzitunga mm. huwa ninaenda resource center na soma kulingana na mambo vile inaendelea alafu ninatunga shairi kulingana na wakati kama saa hii ninajifunia inji yangu 59 years of self rule mm. pia niko na hiyo poem kwa wakenya ni poem mzuri sana mm. naweza pia ku, kutungia wakenya waisikie mm -hmm. waisikie eh. na hiyo passion bado ya kuhoji uh, wanafunzi ninaendelea nayo mm. alafu pia nina mpango wa kuandika kitabu changu i am planning to publish a book mm -hmm. nina mpango wa kuandika kitabu changu 
pia kiidhinishwa ki hata na Kenya ni, ni kitabu ya poems ama ya poems mm. eh, ya mashairi ya mashairi eh, na mpango huo wa kuikiandika mm. eh. unaweza taka ifanye aje ikuwe kitu ya kuelimisha ya kuelimisha na ni ya kitabu ya kuelimisha mm. ni poems unajua poems ziko katika categories kuna poems za harusi zile mm. za mapenzi mm. za vijana zitakuwa poems zote mm. kwa sababu poems hazina limit kila kitu mpaka ufanye kulingana na una, ule mambo inaendelea na nikuleza unaweza kuna nyingine ya amani poem poem ya amani mm. eh poem ya amani yenye yenye inaweza tusaidia wakati kama huu eh wa, eh poem kama hiyo mm. inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa mm. eh unaweza tusaidia na moja moja ni ya kuhimiza tu viongozi wetu watushikanishe mm -hmm. ingawaje sijaitunga vizuri but inasema tu mm -hmm. eh Areza is sharp but it cannot fell a tree an axe is big but cannot cut human hair human hair that grow like green grass from soil let's preach peace and teach unity tit for tat is not a fair game we need each other the way the wife need the husband kenyans we desire tranquility and unity mm. eh eh kali sana eh. na it's quite straight to the point yes to the point kuna wasanii wengi wanakuangalia hata si wasanii kuna um, a lot of youth mm -hmm. wanakuangalia both men and women uh, na wamfurahishwa na your story mm -hmm. kwa sababu it's very inspiring yes ile umesema mali umetoka na mali umefika yeah, yeah. kuna challenges kadhaa you know ume, umepata lakini umefika mali umefika ndio kuna mm -hmm. challenges kuna challenges hata kwa hiki kipawa mm -hmm. eh, kwa mfano hata ukienda kufanya hizo mashairi wakati mwingine watu wenye hawaja kuelewa wanasema ndiye huyu mtu aache kihere here mm. eh, <laughs> kama wakati hata tena kuna challenges hata kwa wakubwa wenye hawaja kuelewa kwa mfano wakati ndikuwa nafanyia mheshimiwa Matiangi hata mm. walisema sasa tunataka kuwa na entertainment moja inatoka kwa walimu na mwingine inatoka kwa the cook mm. but hata hata kujijua alikuwa anasema mhm mm akuku what does now akuku want to tell us mm. but yenye nilifanya ilishangaza hata mheshimiwa Matiangi mm. eh akasimama akanisalimia mm. mm. and recognition hata eh? nikuuliza eh. basi hiyo uh, recognition eh. kupata hiyo watu wanakuambia sawa imefika imefika hiyo eh. pia unajisikia una, uli, uli isi aje nilihisi vizuri tena inakupea motisha mm. unajua ni vile mama wanakushangilia unajua wa mama wakishangilia wanauma wanaweza hata uwa watu <laughs> <laughs> sasa ukishangiliwa <laughs> ukishangiliwa mm. unakuwa wazimu mm. ndio imenifanya hata kufika mbele ya rais mm. eh. mm. na, na kwanza hiyo ndio naweza na kujua sana sana eh. acha tuongee jua hiyo siku kabla eh. uh, kuperform mbele ya rais mm. ulikuwa uh, unasikia aje ulikuwa na uoga ulikuwa tayari nilikuwa tayari kabisa kwa sababu sikukuwa na uoga unajua hiki ni kipawa mm. nimewahi fanya katika process nilianza kufanyia process kutoka kwa SK ilimtua mm -hmm. SK mashari wa Kenya wa Royal Media uh, sasa kwa Matiangi sasa ilikuwa next stage ni kwa rais kwa hivyo uoga haukuwa kabisa mm. kwa sababu ni kipawa nilikuwa nimezoea mm. so kwa hivyo unaona ni kama kile kitu kenye umepitia imekutayarisha for Ime, each and every next level imenitayarisha kabisa mm. na sina wasiwasi yote hata saa hii jo biden akikuja <laughs> naweza rusha poem na sitetemeki mm. eh. kuna kuna yenye umetayarisha yake Apana yenye niko nayo tu na ya 59 <laughs> years of self fruit wa Kenya tujivunie inji yetu hatutaenda kwa inji nyingine I, that one eh. uh, tutakupatia ruhusa eh. tuambie pia hiyo eh. kwa sababu i feel like this should not just be an interview it should be a showcase yes. of talent eh. so yes kama unaweza eh. tupatie hiyo mm. 59 years 59 years of self fruit 59 years of being good have been years of growing and years of glowing you are excellent president uhuru kinyata you are wise words in this anniversary has curiously caught the attention of this nation and has encouraged competition and reconciliation and for the big four agenda that shall make kenya grow and glow is the real deal it is suitable for the coming gender you are excellency You are vivid the word of nostalgia touches the words of our medula obedangata you can think very fast isaiah says we shall arise and shine we shall shine and dine in the table of civilization 
we are soaring high in the sky like an eagle you are a bright star in the sky you can see light beyond twilight indeed we've not made strides we've managed the yards besides we the noble nation of kenya have become brighter every tenure 59 years have shaped our confidence we can dance a dance that is dense one nation one people one destiny let's continue living together as brothers and sisters we need each other the way the wife need the husband we are conscious of the turmoil and toil that men and women of the soil have put in to see we strongly stand having peace love and unity at hand we bear both sight and vision for the coming days do we envision industrializing our kamel country for transformation to pay its entry having availed our grand gratitude to the president and the multitude and our land's faithful cute comrade that of our good god won't be unsaid thank you eh hey, kali sana hey. ko, ko, ko poeti wanasemaga bala kupiga makofi nafanya hivi wanafanya hivi hey. hey. asante sana james waso kwa kukuja hapo kwa good morning kenya lakini kabla tumalize hey. naweza taka utueleze tunaweza kupata wapi kwa sababu ulinielezea earlier on umeanzisha youtube channel niko na youtube channel inaitwa james waswa mm -hmm. james waswa ukiangalia pale uta subscribe na usaji na ushare to your friends utakuwa unaniongeza pia eh, iso likes mm. eh, jinsi watu wana likes ndio pia unaendelea mm. uh, kipawa kinaendelea kwenda juu umezee hizi ma social media ume umeingia bado bado, bado. ndio sasa nimeingia mm. mungu sasa amenipeleka mahali acha kabla uende naweza taka nikuulize kwa sababu ulisema uh, mama ulimwambia aje Nairobi akutuka uh, kuja naye Nairobi mm. tukaanza kuishi sasa hii kibarua ninafanya ndi sasa watoto wanaendelea kusoma mm. na hii sasa kipawa. yeye anaona mali umefika anaona mali anasema nini kwa sababu nafurahi sana yeah. <laughs> nafurahi bwanangu pia sasa ameanza kuonekana katika television unaweza kuna message yake kabla tufunge message yake ni kwamba mm. eh, pia yeye awe kama mimi mm. siku moja tuenda na yeye kwa social media uh -huh. pia yeye tuanze kufanya naye so, unaona hata wakina tabelewa alikuwa anaimba na wakina mbidi ya bed <laughs> eh. uh <-huh. laughs> si ndio mm. eh mm. hadi hey, jambo la mwisho nikimaliza mm. nataka kumshukuru rais wangu Uru Mwigai Kinyata amenipendeza sana na rais wa watu na ameinua mm. watu mm. siku moja hata popota alipo wakumbuke yule mzee mpishi mm. anampenda sana na namwimbia mashairi mm. Uhuru Mwigai Kinyata is a bright star in the sky mm. he can see like to beyond three date asante sana that is a good message asante sana mm. james waso kwa kukuja to good morning kenya vile mmelezea mnaweza mpata hapo at youtube uh, is still yet to open you know a few instagram channels hapo lakini bado naweza mpata on youtube james waswa we'll be back after this